This is by far, hands down, the best response I have ever seen to church hurt and spiritual abuse from a pastor. This guy, the pastor that you're gonna see, does an incredible job. He does an incredible job of empathizing with people who have been church hurt, who have been spiritually abused, without trying to protect himself and his church and his ministry against the negative kind of shade or the negative viewpoint that comes from that. A lot of pastors are so scared of the term spiritual abuse. They're so scared of the term church hurt. They're so scared of their church looking bad that they almost completely dismiss 90% of church hurt as relevant as people who just got their feelings hurt, as Christians who aren't mature enough. And uh, what that does is that makes churches a lot of times a very unsafe place to talk about these things. And we don't get better because we don't learn. But this guy, this pastor, he does an incredible job, leaves it open for the conversation, um, really does a good job of letting people know that they could heal at his church. I wish all pastors would respond this way. And uh, just like we talked about in last week's reaction video, which we're going to put right up here and you can watch it if you are ready, but it was a reaction video where Natalie Runyon from Raised to Stay talked about one of the most important things that we could do as Christ followers is to lead with empathy in these conversations, to lead with li listening. Keenan Clark, the pastor you're about to see, does an incredible job of just that, leading with empathy. And if you are a pastor watching, I, man, I hope that you learn from this. I hope that you can react this way the next time you talk about church hurt. And uh, for those of you that have been church hurt and spiritually abused, how cool would it have been to walk into a church where you had pastors talking like this, where they could empathize with what's going on without just trying to protect themselves? This is Keenan Clark. He's preaching. And uh, man, listen to what he says about church hurt and how well he empathizes with people. This is awesome. I love it. Some of you, you had to leave the church in order to find Jesus, and I'm sorry, because church should have been the place it's the easiest to find Jesus. Some of you had to leave the church to find Jesus. Let that sink in. He's talking to people in this ministry. Some of you literally had to leave the building of the church, the denomination, the organization, to find Jesus and to experience the real church through other people who would love you. That is crazy, but it's the experience that a lot of people have had. It's the experience that I know of a lot of people who have had, and he just apologizes. I'm so sorry because the church should have been the easiest place for you to find Jesus. He just empathizes and apologizes. I'm so sorry that you had to leave the church or you had to go without your church community for a while to find Jesus and to truly find what his community and what being a community with other believers looks like. And you, man, you can hear it in his voice. He's not just putting on a show, he cares. At least that's the way it comes across to me. It feels like he really does care about the people in his, his care, the people in his charge, the sheep who are in the building where he's speaking right now. He really does care and empathize with the fact that they had a bad experience in the church that almost turned them away from Jesus. That's why church matters. Do you understand that? That's the only reason this matters. Church can't save anyone, but it's a great place to meet the one who can and I'm that's why church matters. That's why church matters. The building, the denomination, none of those are going to save anybody. None of those are going to change anybody's life. But what will change someone's life is one, meeting Jesus, having a real experience with Christ in the church, and two, being loved on by the people of God, being loved on by the people of the church. Church exists so that we can come to know Jesus and we can experience that loving, accepting community with his people. So when we come to the church and instead of experiencing Jesus, we experience abuse. Instead of experiencing Jesus, we experience judgment. Man, that makes it real hard to stay in the church. When we come to the church and instead of experiencing people who love us, we experience people who hurt us and people who dismiss us when we talk about that hurt, people who accuse us when we talk about that hurt, people who call us liars when we talk about that hurt, then it gets really hard to stay in church. And I can't tell you how many people I've talked to who have been through this. And they've left the church, whether it was forever or for a season, not because they didn't care about Jesus, not because they didn't want to know more about Jesus, and not even because they didn't love Jesus, but because their experience in the church was so painful, they simply couldn't go back. That shouldn't be what the church is at all. Instead, the church should be 
when it's done right, the safest place on the planet, the place where you can belong most on the planet. And I'm sorry that some of you had to leave the church in order to actually find Jesus. I'm sorry that some of you had to actually leave the church, that building, that denomination, that organization, that ministry, just so you could find and experience Jesus. Um, I'll take it even farther. I'm sorry that some of you had to leave the church just so you could experience what being a part of the church really looked like. Um, I know for me, some of the most powerful experiences of the church, the people of God, have actually happened with men and women who loved me outside of the church. When I struggled to go to the church, again, even as a pastor, even as someone who loves Jesus, because of the the deep hurt and deep damage that I had went through, the deep abuse that I had experienced there. So I love this response. It is so stinking good. Great job, Keenan Clark. I wish we had more church leaders like you. Wish we had more pastors like you who were empathizing with people, who were listening to people, um, who were doing the things that Natalie Runyon talked about in last week's reaction video with Race to Stay. So bravo, bravo, Bravo. Well done, man. Um, I can't say thank you enough to Keenan Clark for that. And uh, if you've seen other pastors who've experienced, uh, who have reacted to church hurt positively like that, let me know. Send me some clips because the majority of the clips that I'm seeing on social media, the majority of the clips that people are sending me are pastors generally talking down to people who have been church hurt or spiritually abused, dismissing that, acting like it's not a big deal, acting like it only happens to immature people who are carrying offense. So this is a breath of fresh air. And uh, man, I hope that more pastors will start showing this level of empathy when they're talking about church hurt and spiritual abuse. And maybe just maybe if we would, we'd see less church hurt and spiritual abuse. So again, if you got a clip like that, a positive clip, let me know. But I could not be more proud of Keenan Clark for the way that he reacted to church hurt and spiritual abuse in his community. This was amazing.